What's up, 7th grade? Mr. Agnos here. This video is for homework 2-1. We're talking about proportional relationships. And the good news is, is maybe you've heard this term before or heard the word proportional before, but I know that you guys know what proportional relationships are. Okay, you, you've seen them many, many times in your lives, and I'll give you some examples here. Um, let's talk about inches to feet, right? So one foot has 12 inches, right? So this is the number of feet. Uh, this is the number of inches. I'll make a little table here. So two feet has 24 inches. Three feet has 36 inches. Four feet has 48 and so on. So this is an example of a proportional relationship. Every time I increase by a foot, right, I increase by 12 inches. Um, another way to think about it is whatever the number of feet are, is, are, I'm not sure which one, whichever one the number of feet are, I can just take that uh, number of feet, multiply it by 12, and that tells me how many inches. And we call this type of relationship a proportional relationship, right? Because we're always multiplying by 12. This number 12, we call that the constant of proportionality, right? So the constant of proportionality between um, feet and inches. Good thing this is not an English class. Um, is 12. All right, it's 12. So if, I, if I'm looking at a table, all right, if I were to organize this, this information in a table, like I am right here, there, there's more than one way to find the constant of proportionality. But in general, what they're going to have you do is find the ratio of the y value to the x value. So they say y divided by x, and you can see that over here. So... <clears throat> Instead of multiplying to go to the right, what this ratio does is it divides, right, to go this direction. So I would say, well, what's what's 12 divided by 1, right? 12 inches divided by 1, um, that's equal to 12, right, which is our constant of proportionality. What about 24 divided by 2? That's equal to 12, right? And you can see this pattern continues, right? 36 divided by 3, that's equal to 12, right? So there are different ways to find the constant of proportionality. It just kind of, it just kind of uh, depends on how they give you the information, right? Um, if this number were not the same every time, then we would not have a proportional relationship, right? Like if the first foot had 12 inches, but then the second foot only had five inches and the third foot only had eight inches, right? That, that, that would be crazy. That's what we call a non-proportional relationship. <clears throat> it doesn't always, we don't have a constant of proportionality. So we're going to see some examples of that too. Um, all right, so let's take a look at this table here. They've actually made this the first couple um, ridiculously easy. It says the table shows a proportional relationship. So the first thing that we need to recognize here is they tell us that this is, in fact, a proportional relationship. Um, complete the table, right? So what they want us to do is find um, all these little question marks by using the ratio of y to x. So in other words, if I take the y value, so I'm looking at this one right here, because I, I need to find I need to find this box. So I would take the ratio of y to x. So I'm going to write y to x right here. All right. So that would be 36 over 6, right? What is that equal to? And then to find this one right here, I would do the same thing. Right? I would do the ratio of 42 over 7. And they've already done 48 over 8. And I think you guys can see, hopefully pretty clearly here, that they're all going to be 6, right? And this one would be 54 over 9. Right, y over x is 54 over 9. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, we, go, we knew going in that this was already a proportional relationship. Um, but th this is more just like, hey, let, let's, they're, they're just showing you. This is, they're giving you an example. 
So 36, remember a fraction bar means division. 36 divided by 6 is 6. 42 divided by 7 is 6. 54 divided by 9 is 6, right? So our, our ratio of y to x, they have 6 over 1 here. Um, you can, the computer will accept 6 over 1, or it'll accept um, 6. If you put in, if I were to put in 12 over 2, okay, 12 over 2, this is also equal to 6, but it's not simplified, right? So this is also equal to 6, but it's not simplified. So it's going to tell me that my answer is correct, but it's in the wrong form. So this one is 6 as well. Check answer, got it. And you can see that, okay, so six is what we call our constant of proportionality, right? When you calculate y over x, you're calculating the constant of proportionality. And that just means that whatever your x value is, right here, multiply it by six, right? So I'm gonna say times six, times six, times six, right? and you'll always get your y value. Um, something that has a constant of proportionality of six is touchdowns, right? If I were to make a table of touchdowns to points, one touchdown is worth six points. We're kind of, we're ignoring the extra point, right? That's a, that's a separate play. Two touchdowns is worth 12 points. Three touchdowns is worth uh, 18 points. Four touchdowns is worth 24 points and so on, right? So touchdowns to points is an example of something that has a is a, that is a proportional relationship, and it just happens to have a constant of proportionality of six. All right, so let's let's uh, let's keep moving here. <coughs> All right, so number three, um, they don't tell us, right? It says decide whether it shows a proportional relationship. So in order for this to be proportional there has to be a constant of proportionality, right? We have to calculate the ratio of y to x, right? For each one of these and see, is it the same number? So y to x, I have eight over four. Well, that's equal to two, right? Eight divided by four is two. I have 10 over five. Ten divided by five, that is equal to two. Twelve over six. And I think you guys can see that looks like we got a proportional relationship here, huh? And fourteen over seven. That is also equal to two. So again, notice how we got exactly the same number every single time. That means yes, we do have a proportional relationship. I can take whatever the x value is, multiply it by 2, so I say times 2, and that'll give me the y value. So times 2, every single time. If these numbers happen to be different, that would mean we did not have a proportional relationship. So the table does show a proportional relationship, and the constant of proportionality is 2. Okay, look at this table. Decide whether it has a uh, decide whether the table shows a proportional relationship between y and x. So we want to find <clears throat> again the ratio of y to x. So I just write this on my paper: ratio of y to x. And then let's look at this one. That would be sixteen over four, right? The y value goes on top; the x value goes on the bottom. Well, that's equal to 4. Okay, let's look at 25 over 5. 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. So right away, we have two different numbers here, right? If this was a proportional relationship, I would have gotten a 4 again, but I didn't. And I'll just do one more. So at, at this point, we know that it's not, but I just want to show you if I do y over x in this situation, I have 36 over 6, which is equal to 6. So I'm getting a different number every single time. 
So this is an ex this this would be like if every time I scored a touchdown I got a different number of points. The first time I got four points, and the second time I got five points, and the third time I got six points. This is an example of uh, something that is not a proportional relationship. So this does not show a proportional relationship. Okay. All right. This is this is the last one I'm going to do here. Um, if you look at this table right here, you'll notice you don't see X and Y anywhere. All right, you see seeds and ounces and the area covered in feet. So they're spreading out seeds in a garden. Okay, if you have a table and the table is arranged vertically like this, then the X coordinates or the X values are always in the left-hand side and the y values are always on the right-hand side. So for this table right here, these are my x's going down this way and these are my y's. So when I that's important for when I go to calculate right the ratio of y over x, right? We always want to calculate the ratio of y over x. This tells us our constant of proportionality if there is one. If the table is arranged horizontally, like this, then the x values are always on top and the y values are always on the bottom. Okay, but we still, we still want to calculate the constant of proportionality by figuring out the ratio of y over x. So again, in this situation, this is a vertical table. So my x's are here on the left and my y values are here on the right. Same here, uh, same on that one. But with this table, it's arranged horizontally, right? And in this one, they actually label the x's and y's for you. These are both vertical, uh, horizontal. Okay, so these are arranged horizontally for here on question number 10. So that means the number of eggs is gonna be our x values and the cups of milk would be our y values. Okay, so the idea behind a proportional relationship is there's this thing called a constant of proportionality. And I think the best way to understand that is, again, an example. Uh, feet to inches, right? It's always 12 inches for every foot. So if I have one foot, 12 inches. Two feet, 24 inches, right? It's always that same. If something is not proportional, it would be like the first foot is 12 inches, but then the second foot is only 8 inches, and the third foot is 15 inches. Like, it's just... It, it changes every time, right? And that's a, that's a real thing. It's just non-proportional, right? So what we're focusing on in this unit is proportional relationships, right? Points for every touchdown uh, is a great example, right? You get six points for every touchdown, 12 inches for every foot. Um, let's see, uh, three feet for every yard, right? So there's a, there's a proportional relationship between yards and feet. One yard, three feet, two yards, six feet, and so on. Okay, as always, these videos are meant to get you started, but what's really important is that you are engaged in asking questions in class. All right, I'll see you guys soon.